Hey guys, this is Michael from TeensTech.com and I have the iPad over here in the Nexus 1 running Froyo 2.2 on the left. Uh, and I'm going to show a little video on tethering through the Nexus 1 to the iPad with uh, the new feature that Google has released in Android 2.2. Uh, so first, I'm going to go to settings. Uh, tethering and portable hotspot. You can either either do it by uh, plugging in your phone into a computer and do it through USB or you can turn it into a hotspot which which turns it into potential Wi-Fi router uh, and this is through my edge. As you can see I, I'm not yeah it's not really lit, but, uh, I'm not at all connected to a uh, wireless. You can see edge right there. Okay, and now I'm going to say portable Wi-Fi hotspot. As you can see, it says that it's loading. And up top it says tethering on hotspot active. So I scroll down, I click that, I can see all stuff. I have settings, I can turn it into, I can have a uh, configure the hotspot and make uh, a password, stuff like that. Right now it's called Android app. Okay, and I'm going to save that. Click back, and I have no uh, real settings on uh, configuration right now. And now, on the iPad, I'm going to click Wi-Fi, turn it on. And there, we see Android app. So it's connecting. So now it's connected to Android app. SAP, I'm sorry. Yeah. And... Now if I zoom in here, uh, you now see that there's a little Wi-Fi up top. Now the real test is if the internet works okay. Now it is, it is going to be kind of slow. I'm going to refresh the page, see how this works, oh, and there we go. You can now also watch YouTube from anywhere. So now you don't have to spend the $200 that you would be spending on the iPad 3G because right now I have 3G everywhere through my phone's internet. I've also tried this on the Juju by Fusion Garage and it works perfectly and also it works on multiple devices. So uh, if I see Survivor, let's see if the video works. Click play. Now, see, the video is working perfectly. Now, yeah, it, the frame rate is kind of annoying. That's because it has a buffer on such a small uh, data because it's on edge. But uh, right now, if you do have an Nexus One and you put 2.2 on it or update to 2.2 and you have an iPad that's not 3G, you, have not, you now have a 3G iPad when you have these two things together. And also, the tethering does not kill the battery, as some people say. It... it it does take up more battery than having it off, but you can leave it on for four hours and everything would be fine. Okay, well, uh, I will update again if I find anything else new. And check my website, teenstech.com, uh, for the latest news interviews in the tech world. Thank you.